too. Hey, man, it's your boy King of Robots. I ain't gonna lie, I just had me some good ass food. Let me some rice and motherfucking stew with that chicken. Just thinking about it, man. Turns me on, but anyway, man. Today's video, we got how to get rich in high school. Shout out to, um, what, what's his name again? Offensive Everybody. Shout out to Offensive Everybody for the video, but uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't in high school no more. I graduated 2018. All right. Yeah, yeah, 2018. So, watching this video, I hope it don't piss me off. Cause if I could be making some real bread in high school, I know some niggas that was making actual bread, bro. Like selling fucking, selling honey buns, Skittles, and all that shit. Bow. Shout out to all y'all that was doing that. If you still doing that, bro, get your bread, man. Y'all was really making bread out there. But anyway, man, let's get to this video. God damn, the fuck. Money solves all problems. <clears throat> Food, clothes, a girlfriend with all holes in the table. There's nothing Damn. you can't buy. But how do you earn bread when you're young? Well, here are six ways to get rich in high school. Number one, tell others how to earn money. If you don't have money, what? then just pretend you do and convince others to pay for your secrets. Remember, oh my no God. one is checking credentials online. If you want to be an expert in crypto, then go ahead. You see, YouTube has a metric called CPM, mm. which is the amount of money advertisers pay for every thousand views. And you know the category... See, I wish, bro, if I was big in crypto like I am now, bro, back in fucking high school days bro because when i graduate that's when i find out i really learn about that bitcoin and all that shit but if i would have known a little bit you know what i'm saying even if i wasn't invested but i would have hit nigga bro let me tell you about this bitcoin you know what i'm saying <laughs> and niggas go yo what's that i'm trying to tell you well you put your money in this you can 500x nigga <laughs> it just scam niggas <laughs> High CPM. That's right. How to earn money, which pays an average of thirteen fifty two for every thousand views. And to put that into perspective, my how to tell the world is crazy has a CPM of five fifty two, and I'd argue it's way more useful. The best part is that's just ad revenue. That doesn't include any books, courses, or big <laughs> pills you're selling to your desperate fans. <laughs> and the, the icing on the cake is the longer your fans are poor, the more likely they are to click on your video. So you're basically oh, incentivized man, not to help them. So here you go, Billy. The next rising crypto is here. <laughs> Number two, streamer. But with Crypto everyone in your curious uncle streaming games, how do you stand out? Well, if you're a girl, it's easy. Just push those fun bags together oh and wear my the deepest God. you can legally get away with. Then Facts. just hit up successful male creators for a collab. You see, guys are idiots. Bro, girl, yeah, guys, bro. I, I don't even want to say it's the girl's fault, bro. That's, that's the dumbass guy's fault, bro. Like, we be the fanny niggas, bro. Like, girls can easily just make bread, bro. Like he said, man, just clap them things together, bro. You will find 500 niggas that's willing to pay for that shit, bro. Bro, like, there's an app called Sugar Daddy, bro. All you got to do is just be pretty, bro. You will find yourself a Sugar Daddy, bro. And that nigga will pay you $500 just to tax him, bro. See what I'm saying, bro? That shit is weird. You can sell feet pictures, bro. Just your fucking feet. I mean, there is people out here selling farts and shit, and people buying that, and man. assume any Fuck woman it. showing them attention is flirting with them. So even if you wrote, hey, I just wanted to hop in your algo and milk money at your simp fan base, <laughs> he'll read, I want the D. <laughs> and it's as simple as using their blue balls to climb your way to the top. Now, if you're a guy who wants a streaming career, then it's time to think of a gimmick. You just need something to stand out from a crowd. Like Ninja has daddy issue hair, Dr. Disrespect is a chad, and XQC is a parasite. Feeding off the attention of children. <laughs> <laughs> so try your best to think of a gimmick that makes people say, It won't let go! Number three, drone pilot. You see the world the differently fuck? as a drone pilot. Like when a residential building collapses, you don't see dead bodies. Well, you do, because you're the one filming it. But <laughs> you also see dollar signs, because that's some juicy clickbait content. And if mm. the news can exploit tragedy for profit, you that's can too. Fuck. Even if no one's paying you, just offer up the footage for free, saying, I just wanted to help out any way I could, while conveniently handing out your business card. If you're unlucky <laughs> and live in a terror-free zone, then you can always do real estate footage. And it's real simple to get started. All you need to do is air tag some classmates you hate in order to figure out their home address. And hey, mail yo, out a ChatGPT-inspired affair confession to their mom. Within weeks, you'll see their house listed on the market, it, and that's when you send out an email with some bogus stats of houses that feature drone footage sell four times quicker than those who don't. Then sit back hey, as a woman barely yo, holding it together pays fuck? you to film the life your enemies once had. Number four, exploit <laughs> your animals. Your pet's free ride is over, and it's time they start earning their keep. Is putting pants on a dog torture? Of course, but it's also adorable. And if America taught me anything, it's suffering is profitable. Twerk better, you f***ing idiots. Do you want to get fed or hit in the head? The choice is yours, creature who barely <laughs> understands me. Number five, 
five trans five trans lawsuit. Having people discriminate you for being trans can be tough. But you know what make you feel better? Money. Based on my popular book, How to Go Turn Fund Hate me. Green. You see, hate speech used to make you sad. Now it turns you on. Because anytime you hear, You're not a hey, real woman. Yeah. What you really hear is, Let me pay for your BMW. So it's time to start <laughs> gathering evidence Fuck. and secretly recording all the ignorant comments by your teachers and classmates. Sure, the resulting lawsuit might result in cutbacks affecting the education of future generations, but if capitalism taught me anything, it's money. money. Six, the fans. If you're a teacher who's fed up with being underpaid, it's time to set up fans. Now normally, the hardest part is building a clientele, but you're coming in with a built-in fan base. I mean, who gives a shit about Fortnite when Miss Sullivan's putting loot in her box? About to get sweaty. <laughs> the only issue is you'll be fired if it leaks, which is why you need to plan ahead. That last month, make sure to be wearing some tight outfits. Whoops, did I drop a marker? Whoops, did I turn down the thermostat? Whoops, did I spill water on myself? Here, let me dry it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I stop at Yo, kids, this you don't think the entire science department is gonna want to see your clam? That's why you gotta plan right. your final day to be at a school assembly. Make sure to get the maximum number of eyeballs before having a wardrobe malfunction. Whoops. Now, of course, you'll get fired, but that's not going to stop you from handing out business cards at the bus stop. <laughs> Might as well plant a few more seeds that are about to get spilled. This brings you to the most crucial part of your plan, setting up your first live stream. Because every content creator knows how important the title thumbnail is, so don't make the mistake of calling it first video with a pic of you with a peace sign. No. Yeah. Being talentless is why you're here in the first place. What you need oh, to do shit. is make your thumbnail a blurry image of a generic white kid. Then title it something like top 10 students I pork, or pork and students be like, or send me a nice dono in your home address and I'll think about it, winky face. So there you have it, all the ways to get rich in high school. If I miss any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, it's not hard to shatter an already broken household. Damn. Yeah, that one was crazy. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push All this right. Oh, well, push what the fuck, dude? Bro, look at this dude, bro. <laughs> nah, but... I thought this thing was about to be all here talking about some actual real shit and how to make bread and shit. But he, I, I mean, he ain't lying most of the time. You know what I'm saying? You can still make money off that shit, but you're 90% gonna go to jail. You know what I'm saying? 90% chance you're gonna go to jail. But, um, yeah, I'm telling bro, if you in high school, man, get you some pack of, gotta get a pack of honey buns or some shit. Pack of honey buns. The six pack of honey buns. I don't know how much that shit costs now because of inflation and all that. Shit. But you can buy a fucking pack of honey buns that comes with like six or some shit for like two, three dollars or some shit. And sell each one of them honey buns for a dollar, bro. Or get a pack of Skittles, bro. Which is probably like, I don't know how much a pack of Skittles costs. It's probably the same price, like four or five dollars for a pack of Skittles. And each bags, bro. A dollar each, bro. I'm telling you, niggas will pay for that shit. Even sodas, bro. Them big ass soda can, the soda shits, bro. Buy the big can, the 12 shits. Bobby, how much is that shit? Like six, seven dollars? And there's like 12 in there? Bro. Actually, I don't know how much is in there. But yeah, y'all get what I'm saying, bro. You can really make some real money off that shit. And bro, don't tell you, don't tell you, bro. You didn't hear this from me? But those niggas that be selling candies outside talking about some school shit, they be getting some bread off that shit too, bro. You ain't hear it from me though, bro. Don't try that shit. But anyway, but that'll be for today's video, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.